how the feeling of being trapped in a 1011 valley when no one upstairs would answer your intercom call? Have you ever had to stop what you were doing in the galley to answer the phone handset when the message could have been given over the intercom speaker? We all know how important communication is on the 1011. It's essential to good teamwork and smooth service. Using the communication system properly can also make our jobs easier. As you know, the 1011 has two phone systems, the cabin interphone and the galley intercom system. The cabin interphone is much like the systems on our other aircraft, but the galley intercom is unique to the 1011. It enables the upstairs flight attendants to communicate with the downstairs flight attendant over a loudspeaker. The galley intercom system is the most important for saving steps and time, and for service coordination. G can be kept informed of the upstairs service and timing without having to stop to answer phones constantly. Hi, I'm Beverly Place, New York-based flight attendant. And I'd like to review the operation of the galley intercom system with you. First of all, you can only use the intercom for calling to and from L1, service center number two, R4, and the galley. Service center number three does not have an intercom system. Those flight attendants must answer an intercom call at the R4 door. To call the galley from L1, service center two, and R4, select the galley position on the cabin galley switch. Then select down galley on the thumb wheel selector. Next, to press the call button once. A chime will ring in the galley to alert G that you are about to speak. After this, identify yourself by your position and give your message. This is AL, your top officer on the way down. What's great about the intercom is that it gives G the option of answering right away or calling back if she's busy. After the communication, it's important to return the cabin galley switch to cabin and put the thumb wheel to flight station so that it is ready in case you need to call the cockpit in an emergency. Be sure that you have replaced the handset securely before leaving that station. Reversing the situation, let's say you're working G and you need to call upstairs. Remember, you can only call L1, service center number two, and R4 on the intercom system. You don't have to bother with the handset. Just turn the selector to the desired station. Half cabin if you're calling R4, upper galley for service center two, and first class for L1. The volume control knob on the panel adjusts the volume of the voices you will hear over the speaker. Next, press the call button once. This will cause a chime to ring and a green light to illuminate at the station you called. The flight attendant upstairs answering a galley intercom call must always adjust the cabin galley switch to galley before they can listen or talk on the intercom system. G will know a flight attendant has answered when they hear the voice over the galley speaker. This is AL, what can I do for you? To reply, just press the talk button on the panel and release it to listen. After your conversation, it's necessary to press the call reset to restore the system to normal. This would be similar to hanging up the receiver on your phone at home. Whenever you're calling to or from the galley, using the intercom system makes communication easier for everyone. Let's go back and review the major points that we've covered. Number one, the galley intercom system can only be used to and from the galley and L1, service center number two, and R4. Service center number three does not have an intercom system. Those flight attendants must answer an intercom call at the R4 door. Number two, any green light means a galley call on the intercom. Answer or return the call right away to see what G needs. Number three, identify yourself by your position for any call. This is AL, your top officer on the way down. Number four, the upstairs flight attendants must always set the cabin galley switch to galley in order to listen or talk with the galley person over the intercom. Number five, after any use of the system upstairs, return the cabin galley switch to cabin and turn the thumb wheel to flight station. 
Also, be sure that the handset is replaced securely. We hope this video has cleared up some questions for you on the Galley intercom system. Chapter 9 of your EPH has more information. Have a good flight.